I think this year is going to be um, quite a tight year, although I think, it, as, as most people are predicting, it's going to end up with the final round with England versus Ireland in Dublin, potentially playing for either Championship or the Grand Slam. Italy, I can't see any further than winning the wooden spoon. Um, they tend to be competitive, but then run out of steaming the sort of teams the last quarter. Um, they've drawn, normally got a good pack of forwards, and if you don't dominate the forwards, they can potentially beat them. That's why sometimes they've, uh, they've won games and they've beaten all the sides apart from England. England's the only side in the, in the Six Nations they've not beat in any game. Um, and I've always thought they've got OK backs, got good pack of heavy, you know, good solid forwards. And if they could ever find a world-class fly half, they would really be uh, a side, you know, would be able to compete in the Six Nations all the time. Um, they've tried um, various fly halves. And in fact, it's a shame because when Domingo was playing fly half for them, to, sort of just after I finished playing, he was a world-class fly half um, from Argentina that naturalised into Italy. And if they had a decent rest of the team then, they would have been able to compete. Since his uh, retirement, there's been nobody been able to fill his boots. And, um, you know, at the moment, they've got uh, young Tommaso Allen playing. He's got a um, mixed Scottish-Italian, but he chose to play for Italy. He's a good player um, uh, at club level, but maybe not a, a world-class international player. It's one of those things, if they could find themselves on earth, one of those um, fly halves uh, that play for Italy, it could be different. But at the moment, no, and I don't see them uh, really doing anything but winning the wooden spoon. France um, will have a good pack of forwards and have got some individual flair of the players in the back line uh, they'd expect to see. Depends on which way Guino Vez, uh, plays the game and how he picks it. Uh, but some of the players you know, like um, Huge, uh, scored a couple of tries against England in the final game last year. Uh, and in the forwards, whether he sticks with um, De Sartoire as the captain and some of those star players. So it'll be interesting to see who they pick for, for their team. Wales, uh, Jamie Robertson, John the Davis will be back in the centre, no doubt. The old proverbial discussion about who's going to be fly half. And, of course, the old uh, Gatlin rule as to which of the players that he's got abroad. But, I mean, Lee Halfpenny will play at fullback. Um, he's their star player, and he knocks kicks over from all over the place. Um, for them as well, it's um, seeing how their back row. Sam Warburton's been uh, with injury for a lot of times. Dan Lydiat as well has come back from injury. And also um, uh, Falatau has been uh, injured at, at Bath, but just starting to come back in. So if they get that back row going, the usual front five, they're going to be, like anything, very strong. The team that's really coming through, as I said before, with regards to the Glasgow players, um, they've settled down. I think um, uh, the backs have really come together. Stuart Hogg is playing some of his best um, rugby, even though he was player of the tournament last year. Uh, and they've got a really good, strong, mobile pack and playing their real uh, high-intensity, high-paced um, game. It's going to be um, you know, really interesting to see how they fare in the, in the Six Nations. They seem to have done well um, in odd spurts, but not over a, a whole tournament. Uh, Ireland, all the names we expect to see. They're, you know, uh, Leinster, Munster and Ulster performing uh, very strong. Um, and uh, I suspect Johnny Sexton is going to be back into the fold after his long-term injury. Um, the centre pairing after um, uh, the, the retirement of uh, Darcy and uh, O'Driscoll um, Henshaw and um, Ringrose from Leinster are the two that potentially I see as being the, the, the pairing that plays in there outside of uh, Connor Murray and Sexton, who I think are probably just about first choice, I think, for the Lions tour. So straight away you go, wow, there's a, there's a good pack and a uh, good set of backs, and the pack very strong as well. England, uh, despite the injuries over the, the whole of 2016, they managed to keep winning games. Uh, there's no doubt that England have got the bigger squad, the bigger resources, so they should be up there fighting. But we had that two years ago and had a disastrous um, World Cup, whereas Eddie Jones, whatever people said when he was first appointed, you can't argue with him now. He seems to have brought a confidence to the team, um, the ability, a simple game, but a very good, effective game, releasing the players to play as they want. Um, you see the likes of uh, Ben Young's playing some superb games. It's very frustrating at Tigers that he doesn't seem to be able to play that at Tigers. Um, but, you know, we've got quite a young team playing out there on the pitch and playing some fantastic um, uh, rugby. And whoever he's brought in and playing a few um, people around, it's gone. And, and, and the, the annex between uh, Young's and Ford and Farrell, 
seems to be, you know, there's concern that he, they're tackling because they're not the biggest tackle. Well, George Ford is, Owen Farrell will stick his head in there, but, you know, they've been fantastic, created, carving up, scoring tries all over the place uh, and creating some forwards who are mobile, uh, got, got the ability to um, use their hands. Um, so all round an exciting, as you say, exciting uh, Six Nations coming up.